well, he wanted to propose there, but his cousin had misunderstood, so they were waiting in a different area. <laughs> Do you actually have pictures of the proposal? <laughs> Stop laughing, and they're both laughing. <laughs> and the woman was like, is there something funny that we need to know about? And then I was like, I think I should just take the dress off. I think, I think we're done here. <laughs> If I had the option, I would have done it on the same day now. Hey, I'm Yalcha from Chaban Weddings and you're watching Brides and Coffee. Today I'm joined by the beautiful Dilara and we're going to be talking about her wedding. If you've not watched the show before, uh, this is a show where we talk about a bride's wedding, her day, her dress, and especially if the groom has been annoying her post-marriage. <laughs> I know you guys, that's, you know, I've been told so many times, you guys, that's the part that they enjoy the best. <laughs> yeah. And to everyone who has been coming up to me in the street and is being uh, just talking about brides and coffee in generally, thank you so much. You know, the amount of people who come up and just like, you know, I love the show. I watch it. Like on my, I'll, I'll be yeah. cooking and you'll be on the side. And I've seen people posting where they're doing their work and it's just like an iPad next to it. Don't forget to subscribe. So there's so many more videos like this coming. We've, we're just going to treat this as some fun, maybe two yeah. or three videos. Uh, but it's turned out that this is an actual show, so <laughs> continue. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hello. When you think back about your wedding, is there anything that you're like, you know, I wish I could change that? I wouldn't say, like, I would change this 100%, but although I loved my registry, yeah. like it was a separate day, like, it was just amazing. If I had the option, I would have done it on the same day now. <laughs> you and me both know, Dilara, that there's no way that we would have fit that on the same day. Okay, but it would have been very, it would have been nice if I could fit on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just change it. Not 24 hours, we needed 36 hours on the day and then we're going to sort that out, right? Why what is it that you would want it on the same day? Just because it's less hassle, I think. Because oh, then, like, for instance, I did mine in uh, Kent, my yeah. registry. So it was the whole hassle it's of finding... that's where your parents used yeah, to live, Yeah, that's right? where I used to live. So it was like makeup artist, hairdresser, everything I would have to... I had to find. And everyone that I knew was always in... It was in London. And they're just separate outfit. But like I said, I, I loved my registry. But you had a separate outfit. You had to have another day. Isn't that whole, the whole point? You had to have another wedding. Yeah, but I don't know, like... I just You took pictures in front of a castle, yeah. <laughs> took pictures in a big cathedral. I was saying to my sister, because she's think she's going to be getting married hopefully next year, do it on the same day, it's just less hassle. Don't, don't listen to her. Do not listen to her. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because I live so far. So it was like, it was maybe like an extra thing that people yeah. had to... And every, all my family lives in London. So it was like, and I, I picked a Kent, Kent venue. You could have got married in London. You know, you could get married anywhere. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. But I, want, I wanted it to be hometown. <laughs> <laughs> when you're recommending stuff to your sister, yeah, is there anything from the actual wedding that you're like, you know, I wish I'd changed this from my wedding. Don't do it like that. Um, I, say, I would say, like, don't focus on decoration. Like, just have the basic whatever because... It, That's the first. Yeah, because, like, for instance, you go, for, you go to, like, Kevin or whatever, like, Ezra event, anyone, and you'd say, oh, you show photos, you're like, I want this, I want this. And they're like, obviously, they would do whatever you want. But when it comes, when you come to the hall, you don't see any of it. Like, as in, you don't focus on it. One, because if your wedding's busy, you don't see it anyway from the people. The centrepieces of the, the uh, on the tables, yeah. I didn't see any of it. I don't even remember it. <laughs> well, when you watch your video, it's and there. Then, yeah. Um, it's only the backdrop that you can see most of the time. With so you your... mean the top table? Yeah. Um, but I've like... Yeah, but let's keep in mind that you do have like 1,200 people or something I at your wedding. I think more than that. It was booked for 1,200. Like, how do you think they bought this house? <laughs> <laughs> the Turkish people, like us, the community, they're so used to one hall yeah. or two, like ma maximum two yeah, halls. Yeah. If you say a different address, they're like, oh, no, we can't go there. Can't be bothered. Like, like, oh, that's too far. Yeah, but then once they go there, they're like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then they moan about the lighting. Then they yeah. moan about the food. Then they'll moan about the thing. And then, then their kid will get married there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the way that it happens. It's just, you yeah. have to deal with it. So dress. Is dress. It, which brand was it from? Um, I got mine in Germany, Sima Couture. Ah, Sima Couture? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know. She said it. We're not putting nothing here. You're not getting free branding. If you sponsor yeah. this show, you repost us. Sima Couture, mate, we're more than welcome to sponsor this show. Why them? So I went, I, I was initially go, thinking of going to Turkey. Um, but before that, my mum was like, why don't we check around here first? Um, we went to a few places here, but it was 
not what I look. I was okay. looking for. I didn't know what I was looking for, to be honest. At first I said the I princess, wanted... princess, by the looks of it, yeah. <laughs> no, at first I wanted a fitted dress with the second skirt. That's mm. what I... In fact, I had one saved and I was like, I want this dress. But it's when, where it's like a, a mermaid and it's got an extra yeah. layer, right? That you can take off. Yeah. And when I tried on fitted dresses here, I just didn't look... I didn't, I didn't like what I looked like. So I was like, okay, so that's out of the picture. And then I started trying A-line and it... Again, I didn't feel it. But I, I, there was no princess dresses in the shops I went to here as well. So, oh, really? Yeah, not, not where I went. Um, so then that weekend, my, uh, my sister sent me Sima like uh, just a dress. She was like, oh, this is really nice. And then I was like, let's just go there for the, for the day. Mum was going on the holiday. <laughs> yeah, I like it, Mum. No, 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 I'm going for the dress. I'm going for the dress. <laughs> While we're there, Mustafa's kebab. Okay. <laughs> So we ended up driving because it was about four or five hour drive, I think. So we ended up driving oh, there. It was on this side of Germany then, not the yeah, other du- side. Yeah, Duisburg, I think. Yeah. So we drove there. Picked, I literally went in. Um, the lady was really nice. She was like, just go around, pick what you want. And What's when their I, place like? Is it like uh, it just clothing it's everywhere? Massive. It, okay. You've got like probably about 200, more than 200 dresses. Oh, it's that big. It's massive. And you don't have the option of not being able to pick something from there because you've got everything fitted mermaid and i picked on two picked two dresses they weren't mermaid again they weren't fitted uh, princess and she came up with a dress and she couldn't even carry it that's how big it was and she was like i remember your dress (laughs) that was a proper princess dress and she was like try on this and i just looked i was like i'm not wearing that and she's like look okay just try it on the end she was like just try the ones that you want she's like just trust me i tried on the ones and i didn't like it and then i put on her one but Bear in mind, I made that dress smaller. Like, that dress was bigger. Oh, that's the small version? <laughs> yeah. Sima Couture, man. Come on. And I walked all out. She needed, all you needed on that day. Like, I am so disappointed that you didn't have a horse and carriage with the, the, round, <laughs> the round one, right? Yeah. I think one of our brides is actually going to have that. Oh, really? Can I give her a name? No, oh, this is going to be posted before her wedding. No, don't ruin it for her. No, oh, maybe it's after. No, her wedding's in June. I can't. Okay. I can't. <laughs> But if we'll put it into the comments yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once the timeline has gone yeah. past. But she's she's actually having the proper, you know, the horse and carriage. Yeah. Like the Cinderella one with the round doll. Yeah, one following. of my cousins had that. Oh. And she had a princess dress as well. Yeah. I, I'm disappointed in you. I, we didn't have that. <laughs> I could imagine you walking up the stairs trying to get into that. So I walked out and I literally just looked at myself and I was like, oh my God, I love it. And that's when, and my, my mum was like, she just looked at me. She was like, "This is it. This is." It. Everyone just knew. It, and my sisters was there as well. Um, Who came with you? Uh, my two sisters. Yeah. Gune came, but he was outside. Um, oh, Gune was there, but yeah. <laughs> he, he was in the back counting the money. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He's he like, was left How outside. much? How much? Uh. <laughs> yeah, and then I picked that dress and ordered it and everything there and then. I said to you, "What kind of dress do you have?" And you're like, um, <laughs> "I can't spoil it for you." I'm like, "For me." <laughs> Tell me what your dress is because I want to know what it is. And then once you told me that it's quite big of a dress, I'm like, okay, the, where you're getting ready, we need the suite. Yeah. We can't have just the room. And literally the part where the bedroom area is, yeah. is your dress. Yeah. It's covering the, the door, yeah. the section. It's next to the, and you had a full poster bed, I think it is. Yeah. It's next to it. And I said, oh God. When I, when I wore the fitted dress on the side, it just, my stomach was out. So I was, and my mum my mom was like, quite honestly, she was like, people are going to think you're pregnant. She's like, I'm not having people talk about you behind your back after your wedding. <laughs> Mum went in. <laughs> Mum was just yeah. like, Pew. <laughs> so, you got to trust your family, to be yeah, honest, right? Yeah, exactly. Did your sisters say anything? Yeah, no, my sisters loved my dress, but they were like... No, the other ones. Oh, yeah, no, they were like, don't go for that dress. Just like, yeah. no. I can imagine what they were like, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, no. Well, they were laughing when I was going to the shops here, like the bridal yeah. thing. I, mem- I went into one... I didn't realise it was like a really designer boutique place. I think it was Brown's Bridal. Or, okay, Brown's, yeah. yeah. And there was, they, they didn't have a lot, obviously. And the ones I had to pick, because I'd booked an appointment, I can't walk in and be like, no, I don't, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not. Out. Gonna, <laughs> I'm out. Bye. So I picked one and I tried it on and I saw the, as I was putting it on, I saw the tag and it was £15,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I walked out in Turkish. I was like, mum, how do I say I want to go home? <laughs> my mum and my sister were so bad they were literally cracking up because the dress people, I don't think people realise uh, the price of some of these dresses <laughs> like, because each to their own if you've got the budget to yeah. spend it by all means exactly. but sometimes you see a certain brand and you see a certain thing and you're like 
oh yeah i have to have that yeah. brand because uh, some cases we have it and brian yeah. sometimes off camera we have conversations with some yeah. brands and it's like yeah and i saw this brand and i was like oh i want it and then i saw the price i'm like oh, yeah <laughs> somebody saved me kind of thing uh don't use that as a meme <laughs> 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 But some cases you see the brands and they put it up. Those dresses, some of them are like 20, 30K. Yeah. Like they're, they're, but if you can afford it, like I said, do yeah. it. It's your thing. But don't go for just the price. Yeah, it's like exactly. To make sure it looks good on you. Because exactly. I've had brides who, their dresses, I think she said to me, one bride, it was like, I can't tell you the bride, but it was like <laughs> £800 for her dress. And I would never have believed it. Yeah. It looked like she looked like she'd gone and had a personal dress exactly. done, yeah. privately done, like 10K minimum. Yeah. But it looked so good on her because exactly. it fitted her. Yeah, they were drunk on champagne anyway because we'd been to like three, four <laughs> bridal shots that day. So by the end, and that was the last one. Is that how they get you to buy? Yeah. I should do that. That should be a good sales figure. <laughs> when people come in, I go, would you like some champagne? <laughs> you get them drunk and go, okay, the big package. And when I walked out the cabin and the woman, the, the worker there, she got really annoyed as well because they literally burst out laughing. <laughs> my sister and my mum because the dress didn't look good anyway. Okay. And... And I didn't look happy either because I, I just didn't like the dress and I wanted to be out. And they were laughing and I, and I got annoyed. I was like, why the hell are you laughing? You're, let's be honest, like her family, like you, because I know your family. Yeah. Your family not the ones that hold back. Yeah. If they think something, you're going to know about yeah. it, right? And uh, I can imagine you coming out and them just, yeah, oof. Which one was the worst? Which sister? The younger one, Sultan. She, like my Sultan. <laughs> My mum, like, and then I can't do it. She stop laughing. And they're both laughing. <laughs> and the woman was like, is there something funny that we need to know about? And then I was like, I think I should just take the dress off. I think, I think we're done here. Because <laughs> some brides, they're like, okay, this is a very important day. I want to have the whole yeah. bells and whistles. But you, you seem like a bit more reserved with how you did it. Like, I knew that I wanted you guys for my photos. And I remember, in fact, having like a, my dad was getting annoyed with me. He was like, no, like, because at that point, I remember Kevin was doing a package <laughs> where it was like, oh, you get your photographer included, included, yeah. included. And he genuinely thought that was it. The photographer was included. You don't pay for one penny more than that's what. The... Dad, dad's dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like, dad, it's not like that. I was like, because that's like, lucky, though, because it's like, the girl side. Like, he was what like, was he what's about? the point of paying so much extra when it's included? He was like, this is a package. I was like, I get you, but it's not included. No. <laughs> I was like, you no, have to not, go to no. a certain photographer as well. And they give extra, you a package. Extra, yeah, extra. You just yeah. get that certain amount off your um, package. He only believed me once my cousin went to them for his wedding. Yeah. And he was like, he said a price similar to our price. Yes. And he was like... Oh, people think oh. that we're expensive. When you go to these other guys, what's included? The, the price is very yeah, similar. Yeah, it's very similar. Um, so he was like, oh, okay. And I was like, exactly. <laughs> How was your experience with us? Oh, it was amazing. No, yeah? yeah. There was nothing that we'll I We'll pay her later. <laughs> no, I, I don't think there was anything that I'd regret or like... I, I love all my photos, okay. my video, everything. It was, I remember seeing my cousin Rulken's yeah. wedding video and she, her one was the short of her, so it was like one yeah. hour and a half or something. Yeah. And she, we was at my dad's and we was all watching and I was like, it's like a film. I was like, I, I need this. And yeah. that's when I knew, I was like, no, I, I, I'm going to 100%. Because yeah. when you're watching it, it actually, because sometimes it's where you're watching a thing and it's just halai and it's just yeah. dancing and it's just like. Well, that's the one part we don't find enough put on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> it's the part that where every other company is just sharing the dancing bit. I'm like, yeah, but that's just kind of, it is the day. Yeah. Why don't you show up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when I saw Rockens, I was like, I love it because it's not, it doesn't get boring. Like when a guest comes, you can watch your wedding video. That's yeah. one and a half hour and that's it. It's finished. Yeah. But um, yeah. That's... How many times have you seen your video? So many times. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the other day with um, our cousins from France when they came to Suzanne's we, wedding. We should actually ask your mum. How many times has mum seen the video? <laughs> oh, probably my sisters probably watched it more than me. Like, it was at one point it was constantly on. Like, oh really? It was As a background. It video. was like a replay, <laughs> and then they would go back to certain areas and they would they would point out things and they would rev uh, go back and watch it again, go back and watch it again and laugh at it. So. I think they, we, we found out that they like laughing at yeah. you. Know, so. <laughs> Did anything go wrong during this? The wedding show? car didn't turn up. Oh, it was the G-Wagon. Yeah. I remember on the day, actually. Was it a white one that you It ordered? was a white one that we ordered. So it was meant to turn up, I remember really well, t uh, 11 a.m. Because I was like, you know, we'll be ready then. And then you guys will go uh, take photos, drive around. Yeah. Drive around. And I kept asking you because our, our room was literally 
it was the, looking yeah. terrifying. I was like, Yashna, can you see like a white car or a white G wagon? I was like, yeah, there was a golf car there. There was a white one. And I was like, unless, I mean, it's a different kind of car. It's white. I don't know. I mean. But you, you was like, I thought you were joking, but you were like, there's no white G wagons in this country. There's one in Scotland and that's it. Yeah, there, there literally is like yeah. miles and miles yeah. away. There's really not that many white And I ones. thought you were joking. I was like, yeah, whatever. Like. They say that some car companies say, oh, yeah, don't worry, we've got one. And they rent it. And in the day, some other car shows yeah. up and you can't really do anything. And they weren't picking up. It got to a point, And obviously, Gune's panic. So he was panicking. He was like, this car's not turning up. How's he a politician? Is Mr. Panic. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly. <laughs> but when he gets into the politician mode, you see him. He's very sort of... Serious. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so then once they finally got through, because then I was like, just send me the number. Maybe they're not answering your phone. Yeah. Calls. Um, so then I called and the woman picked up and I was like, "Where's the car?" <laughs> yeah. And um, she was like, "Oh, um, I think it's stuck in so and so, like far away." So we're not. Gonna... I was like, "Yeah, but this was planned. Like it wasn't like a last minute thing. We planned this way ahead." So if you want, you can have a Bentley. And I was like, Do "You know what? We just need a car. So just send whatever." That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's normally will have the car thing goes down. Yeah. Yeah. You get. Pro- it's, you know what it's like. You know when you go in the airport and you book a car and they say. Let's say a Fiat 500 or, or similar, similar. <laughs> and then they send you a Citroen C1, and you're like, that is not a similar car. <laughs> there is no way that those two cars live in the same place, yeah. right? And then the car turned up and it was dirty. It yes. was very, very dirty. So the, the because sh- we had a chauffeur, so the chauffeur was like, oh, where's any, where's the car wash here? And Gunnar got angry. He was like, I don't know. He was like, you should have brought the car clean. He was like, I don't, I don't care at the moment. I'm getting married. So um, yeah. I think it was his cousin that like actually searched up and something so he went and then he wasted a lot of time he went and got the car clean came back what was your actual proposal like because oh your mister <laughs> hello Gine, is a proper like i wish Gine was here because he's yeah. like he'll be giggling in the back yeah he would be here. giggling right now yeah he'd be giggling back he's a proper romantic <laughs> like i love it he's a proper romantic so what was your proposal like he proposed in paris <laughs> Gine, yes city of love yeah um we went for the day trip um how did he convince you and did you know about it? No, I didn't know about it. He basically, we kept going on about how we should do a day trip somewhere, either uh, Belgium or Paris. And um, he... Could have had some chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> and he just said it. He was like, do you want to go to Paris? And he had asked my parents beforehand for so permission. He and, yeah. He, he did ask it for Yeah, hand, but right? I didn't yeah. know he went for permission or anything. And then he booked it and everything. And we went, literally went with the Eurostar for the day and came back. But when we got there, he was acting a bit... He basically, he had like a little bag, pouchy thing. And man he ne- bag. Yeah, man bag. And he never has a man And I was like, why have you got a man bag on? Like, this is really weird. I was like, I, I don't like it. <laughs> and I was like, we're going for the day. It's not like, and also you've just got a phone and a wallet. Like, you don't really need anything. And he took out a ring box. And I was like, what the hell? And I thought he was doing it there and then. Like, because, you know, you just, it's, like, it's my cousin's ring. Um, cause we're going to, we're going to meet them in the evening and he's going to propose to his, um, girlfriend. So he wanted this ring and I didn't want to put it in my pocket. So I put it in the bag. He must Gune. have, yeah, he must have, no, he must have had two these rings. Gu- wait, 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 these Gunes, Susie's <laughs> Gune and this Gune, Gunes, mate, they're quick. <laughs> but no, he Gune. had, get he yourself had, a Gune. <laughs> he had two ring boxes. Apparently he actually had his cousin's ring as well. So they were the, actually going to propose as well? Not on the what same day. Two prizes, two for one. What's going not on here? The, not, for, not on the same day. Okay. But um, Gune's uh, uncle here has a jewellery shop, so he must have ordered his ring and he was taking it for him. Is it Erbil there, right? Yeah. So. Um, okay, we will block that out as well, Erbil there, unless you sponsor <laughs> this show. <laughs> Susan, tell your family. <laughs> so, and I was like, can I see it? Can I see it? He was like, no, no, no. Like, it's, it will... But he said no because he didn't know which ring it was that he mm. took out of his mm. pouch. Is it not? I was like, yeah, but I really want... He was like, no, no, it'll ruin it. He'll show you if you want, he wants to show it and everything. So, whatever. And then... Um, did, did, did the bells go off at this point? Did it, it was... I was being... I was like... Mm, but then the I... Size doesn't match. Yeah, because I was like... I knew that they... He had a cousin that was like... Go, thinking of proposal and stuff. So, I was like, oh, whatever. And then um, near the end of the day, he was acting really like... Come on, we've got to go. We've got, we've got to go to Eiffel Tower. We've got to do this. And I was like... What are you rushing for? Yeah, we're we'll just here. On I was like, we've got, we've got the whole day. I was like, <laughs> our, our, t- our trains like at the. Did he have the a photographer, cameraman, waiting? Um, yeah, he had, he okay. had arranged his cousin yeah. had arranged someone. 
That's why he was rushing. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was like, we've got to go, we've got to go. And I was like, where? And he was like, the Eiffel Tower. I was like, okay, it's not running away. We'll walk. He's like, no. been there for how many years? <laughs> he was like, let's get on a taxi. Let's get, okay, I was like, let's get on a taxi. We walked out the taxi. And I was just, I was like, oh, let's take a selfie. And I turned around. He was just literally like searching for something. I was like, what are you searching for? And then I turned around and I was like, whatever. I was like, I'll take my own selfie. And then I turned around, he was on his knees. <laughs> oh. Um, but he, that wasn't where he wanted, well, he wanted to propose there, but his cousin had misunderstood, so they were waiting in a different area. <laughs> do you actually have pictures of the proposal? <laughs> yeah, we do, oh, but the but fake... Just a different but, <laughs> the, the fake, fake one. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, no. So, and we'll put the real pictures When here. his cousin saw that he was on his knees, they were, like, literally running to us. They were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, you shouldn't be doing it here. Um, What's and the cousin's name? Serhat. Serhat. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> and then he proposed there. He literally, literally gave the ring. He was like, put it on, put it on. I was like, why are you still rushing? He was like, I was like, you can calm down now. <laughs> he was so nervous. Um, and Is then, Serhat the one who was going to propose? Yeah, Serhat oh. was, yeah, afterwards. Um, and then uh, the photographer was like, we was waiting for you in that corner and everything. Um, Poor photographer, I mean, I feel your pain. <laughs> it's not your fault at all. Like, they told you to be here. Did you have the whole... They come to your house and yeah, ask for your hand in yeah. these dinner, yeah. right? So what was that like? Because oh, knowing Gune, after just the proposal, I can imagine him being a right wreck. Yeah. The panic. <laughs> he was, yeah, he was. He's much more relaxed now, you know. But back then, he was very nervous, anxious. And we picked the hottest day of the year, oh, knowing yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was so hot, and we did it at home. At so. your parents' house. Yeah, um, and we had a party in the uh, in the evening in our garden, but we. And we advised everyone again. Obviously, the house was full. When you say everyone, you mean like a tenth of the people? Because like <laughs> that's a lot of people you know. We had, my mum had to. She was like, I have to call um, one, of, one of my cousins of every like uncle auntie, and then my dad was like, Yeah, I've got to call this many people, and then obviously my uh, mother-in-law, and father-in-law. Oh, no, it's a wedding. <laughs> so we were literally cram- like crammed in this um, living room, and we had to sit in the middle of the living room. Who, who did they ask? So we had the Dede, I love oh, the Dede, yeah. um, and then um, Israf Ilamja, um, yeah. Gune's cous- uh, uncle, came. Did they ask? Or yeah, they asked, asked, yeah. Um, and we, they did it in a, like a religious way, so yeah. they had to ask us if yeah, we yeah. were happy to get engaged and everything. And I felt literally, I felt like I was getting married there and then, because it was like a nikah. Yeah. So they were like, are you happy? Are you being forced? And everything. And I was like, no. Like I asked her, did you be forced? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not getting forced. <laughs> we were both so like stressed and just sitting there and it was so hot. Gune had literally like sweat running down his face. Um, and then as soon as like everything happens, you know when you kiss everyone, my dad was like, no one needs to kiss anyone. Just just go to the garden. <laughs> just get out. Don't kiss me. That is, that's not a big kisser. What's your thoughts on that kind of whole thing? Do you think it's lived its day or did, is it, was it important to you to have the whole... Yeah, I think it's important. I think it's okay. cute. It's a traditional... It's a tradition where I think every girl should, like... Obviously, guys, well, should live. Um, mm-hmm. It's cute. It's just... It's another thing. It's like, something that you, you, yeah. you enjoyed. Yeah, okay. exactly. Cool. Yeah. And did you put salt in this coffee? I actually didn't. These girls are being too soft lately. The last bride we done, she put honey in his. My food. cousin, my my cousin, my sister put honey in her, her one as well. Do you listen to me. To, this is to her partner in the future. Okay, she's putting honey now. <laughs> the pepper's coming later. <laughs> I got the pepper first. Now I've got honey, honey. all the way along. <laughs> no, um, but the funny thing was, so I put extra sugar. Like his his coffee was full of sugar. Like it, it's just sweet. Yeah, it's super sweet. Um. And I took it to him and he acted like I put pepper, salt. He Gune. acted. He was a full-on politician at that point. <laughs> so he, that Gune works for Info Council. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, and everyone was like, stop, don't drink, enough. Like, you don't have to finish it. And I'm just sitting there like, are you actually being serious? Like, you're making me look bad and I didn't put anything but sugar in your coffee. He was literally, his face was so funny. Everyone was like, no, enough. And like, the dead was like, no, enough. Like, he was like, what did you put in there? And I was like, nothing. I didn't put anything. <laughs> no one believed you. No one believed you. And they you. still think that, like, other than the parents, obviously, they still think I put something in it. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. God, Gune. <laughs> These Gunes. And then what was the evening like? The evening was really, it was really good. We had um, a DJ and we partied. Our friends came a little bit later. Did the neighbours complain? Did you not know Karen's? I, I had to, 
write letters to every one of them on the okay. street. Did you invite them as well? Oh, you might as well pop in. You know, I, didn't, have a... I didn't invite any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I had all, enough coming all anyway. mum's neighbours in Kent. <laughs> We're sorry from now. We just we didn't know you. <laughs> um, I had to write letters to everyone saying that we're going to have loud music. It might go on for a while. Okay, so we're on the wedding morning. Yeah. Did you wake up? Did you stay in the hotel? I, had, I stayed at the hotel. So I did my getting Chalmasa the day before. before. Yeah. Because obviously the location. So we did it the day did your, before. Did your mum, was she happy about that? My mum was okay with it. My dad was really annoyed. <laughs> but he got to, in terms of it. I was like, it's not possible. Like, yeah. they either come early in the morning, 6am, wake you up to take me away or we do it the day before. Karen's not going to be happy yeah. about that. <laughs> With the drums and everything. Yeah, no. I was like, oh, I, loud. or I don't like, do it. I said, loud, yeah. loud. I was like, or I don't do it. And he was like, you have to do it. And I was like, well, let's just do it on the day before then. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and then me and my cousin stayed at the hotel. That What's night. that morning? Like you wake up and it's wedding day. It doesn't hit you until you start getting ready. Okay. Like it, so we woke up, I think, it, I think. Who did your hair and makeup? Shanara did my makeup and Eleanor for my hair and I think they came around eight or nine so we obviously we didn't sleep all night but we we roughly woke up at six seven ish and um Gune was already downstairs like he he'd come like I don't know what time he came <laughs> Gune is in panic mode. <laughs> um so we had breakfast but it, it didn't hit me we were just having breakfast Gune's brother Mehmet was there with us as well um and then when Shanara turned up and she, she called me she was like I'm outside like can you come and greet me and everything I was like, okay, this is happening. And then when you guys turned up and was like... Lights. Uh, lights, camera, and I was like, okay, this is it. <laughs> and what is that feeling? What, what do you actually feel? It gets, you get really excited. Okay. I, had, I was really nervous at my registry, mm-hmm. but the wedding was more like excitement. Like, I wanted to get to the hall. I wanted to start dancing. It was that kind of... Because I remember what, us trying to come down the stairs and you, like, your dress was squished. <laughs> and then we had to wear... And the place you got ready was Hanbury Manor. Yeah. And it's got really nice grounds. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, princess dress, time to breathe. Yeah. And you're like, I said, can you go on the grass? And I saw your face. <laughs> Remember when we were planning the shoot? Yeah, yeah, whatever you said. My pictures are really important to me. <laughs> That's why I've come to you. My video is so important to me. That's why I've come to you. Yeah, we'll do whatever you want. And on the day, can you go on the grass with your dress? The grass? <laughs> with my dress? Uh, can we not just do it not on the grass? <laughs> Do you know what it was? It was because my mum was like, do not come into the wedding with your dress muddy. Okay. She, she literally like tortured, like she, she got me to a point where I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't move this, with, move this dress because it's going to get muddy. <laughs> but Mum. But no, but then when, when you see, when you do see brides with like dirty, like it doesn't look nice at the wedding. But they've got great photos. Yeah. But, um. Maybe we should do one where it's like, you have a second dress. Yeah. <laughs> we have the expensive one for the shoot. And yeah. the other one you walk in with. How did you get a meet? Social media. Really? Yeah. It's like the fourth one. This, this conversation is going great. You know, it used to literally be, oh, I met them somewhere in a restaurant or a friend, friend or yeah. something like that. Now it's literally like through social. Yeah. Which is great. Instagram? Um, he added me on Facebook. Then he added you. Yeah. Okay. And then he waited quite a while message me good day what are you waiting for <laughs> beautiful lady what are you waiting for but um what was the first for first what did he message you merhaba merhaba which means hello <laughs> um yeah is that it? it was just merhaba yeah merhaba. nothing else nothing else just like merhaba and then whatever he did guys is <laughs> bloody work didn't it um and then we we spoke for a bit he just looks jolly yeah he's jolly like he just like in his photos, you could just see that he was very, like, calm, innocent. Like, he wasn't that kind of person. That she was... is the, the... She's like the yang, and he's the yin, <laughs> yin yang. Basically. <laughs> yeah, we just messaged each other, and then I think it was, like, a couple of weeks later or something, we went for a coffee. Okay. And, yeah. Coffee day. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it just went on from there. Why, why did you see him again? Because sometimes, you know, you see people on a first date or something like that, and you're just like, sign. Mm. What was it about him that he you was could nice. connect to? He was he was a nice person. Like he was genuine. Like okay. you could you could have a co- like when I saw him, I, it felt like I'd seen him for ages. Like I've 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 known him for ages. Like our conversation was running. I think it was like the first or the second day. He asked for my. He was like, "Can I have your number? I need to, I want to call you." And I thought he would get my number, but he would like message me or something. Oh, he it, called you. Called he, you. He he called me, and he literally interviewed me. It was so funny. Like I remember, I got off the phone. And I was like. 
I just got so into Kune, this. Gune is an accountant and he's also a <laughs> cabinet member in Enfield Council, yeah. right? So Gune is like used to interviewing people. So he actually interviewed you. He genuinely interviewed me. I, I shut the phone. Check and the I, boxes. Check the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, where are you from? What village are you from? Who's your dad? What's your dad's name? What's your mum's name? How many siblings do you have? What school do you, what, where do you go? What, what, where, do you, where do you work? And you still went on a date? Yeah. <laughs> really? But he, I, 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 he hung up. Because it was like a five minute talk. It was not even like, <laughs> and I could tell that he was literally like walking around the block, like he was outside, like he just wanted this phone call over. And then, um, he when I hung if you up, were real, huh? yeah, he, when I hung up, I was, and I just laughed. I was like, that was so weird. Like, it was fun, it was cute, but it was weird. Like, I was like, I would have, I never had this. Like, this is, this is different. Like, it's like just Guinea is checking, okay, yes, yeah. it's like with the kids. <laughs> The thing from this village, okay, we can get along. This, uh, this, this belief, this yeah. that thing, and just went through it. Du, du, du. And he's like, okay, now I can put in the effort. Yeah. Q&A. But yeah, no, and then yeah, we just we just hit it off. Yeah, you're on the other side now. Yeah, you're married. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you've heard me say before, do not throw your husband under a bus. <laughs> but what is one thing that now that you're married, you're like, you know, you, I don't want to kill you. No. <laughs> I think when when it was first, when when we first got married, I was I was in that point, but now I'm just like whatever. Like, <laughs> so what's that first him. month like? Um, well, we got married February the first. We went on our honeymoon. We came back, and then a couple of weeks later, it was locked down. So, yeah. So you actually had to spend time together. We had to spend time together. <laughs> you're still together. <laughs> We've had a few that separate, but you together. Yeah, no, we're together, and it was constantly like, and I was working from home, but. Because he works on his own um, okay. it, at that point, he was at his office. His he had a desktop, so he couldn't. He didn't bring it for a while. I think it was about two months. He was at home doing nothing, basically annoying me. <laughs> I remember one day where he got he was so bored, and we was in a one bed flat at that point, so it wasn't there wasn't much to do as well. I was like, "Are you really bored?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Just do the ironing then." He was like, "Ironing." I think, what's that? Foreign. <laughs> I've never done it. I was like, we well, time to learn then, isn't it? <laughs> Lockdown. Got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, um, I think one thing that annoys me, and it still does, but I don't say anything, he just leaves his socks on the side of the bed. <laughs> uh, to my wife, turns out it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Like, when, when, I, when we first got yeah, married. because we get home late, and you just take your socks off and you get into the bed. Yeah. That's what he said as well. He goes, I just... Justification. I, 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 get, I sit on the side of the bed. I take my socks off. I get into bed. He goes, what's the point of me going to the bathroom and putting it in a laundry basket? I'm like, but why should it... Set, like, why, why I know, we it... forget in the morning. That's why, because you get up, you go to the bathroom oh, and no, you've forgotten I've, it. After the first few months, I was like, it got to a point where I was like, you're not doing this every day. So every morning he gets up when he's going to the toilet, he will take his socks and put it in the basket. <laughs> Anything else? That's one, that's one thing that... But now, like I said, I, 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 and I, I realise now he like puts it right in the corner so it doesn't, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so rather than putting it into the basket, he's worked at an angle that you can't see. So when I go and see <laughs> <laughs> when I go and open now the window Now you know or that he's doing it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I said that to my missus. I was like, look, sometimes I just want to just like annoy you that day. So I don't put my, so I just leave it like just in line. So if she turns her head, she's like, He's done it on purpose. That is for sure on purpose because he could have easily put it into the basket. Exactly. But he just left it just there so I can like, just pick up on it. Yeah. That, that really... Um, what annoyed. is it? Something that you didn't expect that is you love more now? He's so caring. I, I didn't realise... Like, I knew he was caring, obviously. But he's extreme. Like, I was, like if I was to say, like, oh, I've had a like, really bad headache, he would go on and on about it. Like... Every 10 minutes, does your head still hurt? Are you, are you okay? And then if you've hurt yourself, like if you, for instance, I'm cooking, I've burnt my, so oh, you get angry. He's like, you burnt yourself. I'm like, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> He's that caring that he gets angry when so someone that he cares for, up, like hurts, hurts himself. Themselves. And that, that you know that, and he cares for people around me as well. Like my family, he loves, they love him and he loves them as well. When we first got married, he, he was on his phone. And I kept asking him questions, like, I must have just kept asking him questions, a few things. And we were just watching TV. And he was like, and he just went, I don't like it when people um, disturb me when I'm on Facebook. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, is 
it now. People. <laughs> Especially the word people yeah. rather than saying, could you not disturb yeah. me? I'm, I've got something to look at, right? Instead of saying that, it's more of a people yeah. disturbing me. Oh, I, want, I would want to be a fly on the wall oh. for that conversation. What happened I was there? like, are you being serious? I, I found it really funny because he, would ne- he wouldn't say, like, don't disturb me. He would, he would literally make a grand... He's a politician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was laughing. I was like, is it that important for you? He goes, yeah, but this is like my time. I like being on Facebook. Where did you go on honeymoon? Uh, we went to Dubai and Maldives. Oh, what was that like? It was amazing. Yeah. Right. Tell me a bit about the Dubai part. Dubai, was, it was for three nights, so we didn't have a long time. But we really enjoyed it. We did like the safari, went to the Miracle Gardens. Okay. It was... It was Where did you stay? Um, we, went on, we stayed on the Palm. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Sofitel Hotel. Okay. Yeah. So we, like, we had three nights, so we, we did like everything you could. Um, and it was straight after the wedding, so we were like, let's just get ourselves really tired so when we get to Maldives, we can just sleep. <laughs> but... Um, did yeah. you give space? Did you go straight away or did you have time? We, I th- our wedding was on Saturday. I think we went Monday night. Okay, like so you gave us a day. Yeah, just a day, day and a bit, yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we landed on my birthday. So we, okay. Yeah. So we spent, we was, yeah, we spent my birthday at the Burj. We went up to the Burj Khalifa. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and then one week we, uh, we was at Maldives and that was really good. Okay, so what is it about the difference in the holiday between the two? So Dubai is like, you, although you've got the beach, it's more like city vibes, that kind of, you know, you know, shisha, food, amazing food. But whereas Maldives, it's literally like, they take you on a speedboat or a um, seaplane and they just Did leave you, you there. Did you have a seaplane as well? We had the speedboat because okay. I think our hotel was like 20 minutes away from the um, airport. So it wasn't that far. And when you get there and you get on the speedboat and they're taking you, because it was just us two that was, that was taken to... And I was like, good day, this is really weird. I was like, In the middle of the ocean? I was like, they're just going to drop us off. I was like, that's it. What if it's just a random island that we don't know? <laughs> We're going to be stuck there. And you physically can't leave the island unless they take you. Yeah. Like, that's it. You're stuck. I don't think people realise where the Maldives is. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. You know, it's just, if you search on the map, you can't even see it. Yeah, that's how bad it is. It's that small. <laughs> it's tiny in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And there is literally going nowhere. There's no land outside. Unless they come and get you, like yeah. you said. You're there. Yeah, exactly. You're going to be like Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> because I love that film. <laughs> but yeah, we had a really good... It was our first holiday. So would you recommend two trips for somebody for their honeymoon? Or would you... Which one would you have just done one? I think other? our one was... I, I think Dubai and Maldives is... Although everyone does it... Like, I, I remember my sister the other day saying, oh, but everyone does Dubai and Maldives. Like, we want to do something different. There's a reason why they do it. Yeah. Exactly, there's a reason, because it's, Maldives is, is a place where you just, everyone needs to see, like, it's one of those places that you've got nothing to do, but you still really enjoy that moment. And then Dubai is just a city where people should see as well. It's so futuristic, luxury cars, it's just, it's just different, like. I need to say thank you to Meltem's mum. If you haven't seen Bryson Coffee's episode one, where is Meltem Ozan? Uh, I did actually say to her right there and then, uh, what does your mum make? Yeah. And she said, my mum makes burek. <laughs> and since then, mum's been trying to send us burek. And yesterday, the bureks came and they were warm and they were fresh. And they were potato sure they and were chicken. Really nice. Like normally they have it separate chicken. And I was like, I made a special request. Yeah. Potato and chicken. <laughs> and they came. And then here's a video. <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. So I thank know. you, mum. I really pre- she's our fan girl. Mum yeah. likes all the <laughs> videos. So mum's, mum's always there. Really appreciate. So what is your mum really good at making? <laughs> <laughs> While we're here, do you know my mum makes the best pizza? Pizza. Uh, what, what's it? Margarita. No, like vegetable pizza. Pizza, pizza. pizza, pizza. She best. Be- she best makes? veggie pizza. Veggie pizza. Oh, she's amazing. Mum. <laughs> what's mum's name? Dilbert. So Dilbert. <laughs> Dilara's mum. Um, I heard you make a really nice pizza. <laughs> so Choban <laughs> is expecting some pizza. <laughs> if we did a more bites of coffee, we could be fed every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was just supposed to be a bit of fun. Yeah. It's turned out into a proper thing. Um, well, I really enjoyed the conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Dilara. I did as well. It was um, good. <laughs> so listen to Dilara. There will be moments in your wedding. Her mum gave her some great advice, actually, saying to her to stay calm it won't be exactly what you thought it was because she had obviously something imagined in her head she was planning something and even mum was like okay i need to go in there calm it down 
In her case, normally it's the groom calming down the bride, but in her case, she was calming down the groom. Which, you know, <laughs> but it still worked out great. And even the dress, it wasn't something that she thought she would look good in, but turns out she yeah. tried a princess dress and for her, it definitely worked. She looked amazing. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and you comment down below because there's loads of great videos like this coming up. If you haven't seen any of our work, head over to chabanweddings.com mm -hmm. and over there, we're slowly developing the brides and coffee section. The more and more advice as these videos come along from our brides. So if you're about to get married, there's loads of tips and tricks on there. So make sure that you head over there and then you see more of them. And there'll be more videos. It's probably going to pop up here. Yeah. <laughs> Not over my face, probably over hers. <laughs> it's going to pop up over here somewhere so that you can watch other videos. And if you haven't seen our behind the scenes where we're, we're out, people keep saying to me, oh, why don't you guys post your work? Why don't you post? Some, some content I just think is personal to the bride and groom. There's yeah. certain parts of their wedding, especially like the money pinning. Is like, it's very personal. Yeah. Um, but you can see our behind the scenes where we go through and you see all the fun that happens on the yeah. day. I wish we had some from yours. Yeah. Because there was a point where uh, Gune sent you a letter and then you read it out yeah. and it's very emotional. And that's a great tip for actually get the couples. If you're getting married, send each other little letters. notes before the wedding. Yeah. Which just something personal. It doesn't have to be long. You know, don't do what Dilara did and write a two page article. <laughs> just, just, you, you can. I'm going to be carried can. away. <laughs> You can just send a little bit of a message to each other and that will make it. Some people write on chocolates. Mm -hmm. So they have little chocolates and they're like... I, I think I had it in a box. So I had his letter, his perfume, made a little gift. So until next time, make sure that you come back. And I'm very happy that you watched till the end. Bye.